OMG BBG. What's up, BBGs? We're back with another Hasbro unboxing, and of course, it's Baby Burst Turbo Sling Shock. Um, this is gonna be super hype because we've been waiting for this one for a long time. Look who it is, Phoenix. Phoenix P4. So it's the Hasbro version of Revive Phoenix with the uh, 10 disc and friction slingshot version. So that's gonna be very interesting. Uh, and then we get like a no-name Beyblade pretty much. It's Cyclops C4, whatever. It's not too bad. It's still cool to have for the collection, I guess. Um, but the Flugel slingshot version will be interesting too. All the drivers are really fun to use. But uh, we're gonna have to compare though. Revive Phoenix versus Hasbro Phoenix P4. Very interesting to see. But we know this might get destroyed. <laughs> so take a look at the stats. Full 11 defense. And then Cyclops has, what is this, full 11 stamina. So stamina type of that flugel driver. Um, but yeah, let's open it up. Yeah, let's uh, see what the differences are with Takara Tomi Phoenix versus Hasbro Phoenix. I'm just surprised that they released it in like a dual pack. Because you gotta get the other bay too. Slipping that Hasbro exclusive. Oh, oh, alright guys. At least the armor comes off. But I mean, like, man, this is so plasticky. This, there's no weight to the armor. <laughs> oh, good lord! And that's how they go fast in the Turbo Stadium. Yep. So, but that's interesting though, like, Turbo playstyle with the armor still flying off. Like, man, this thing might dominate. Cyclops C4 is not in the anime. Yep, exclusive to Hasbro Toys. Man, this is so lightweight compared to the original. I, I don't know, man. Okay, full plastic, guys. At least they kept the gimmick. The armor does fly off. Uh, the inner layer, the colors are a little bit different, of course. We have our 10 disc. And let's take a look at the friction slingshot version here. So, battle ring mode, it's just like this. It doesn't have that same palm material. And it also doesn't have that rubber ring that you see from the Takara Tomy version. So for the slingshot mode, there's a tab on each side, yeah. one right here, one right there, and um, you can have it placed in the middle like it is right now, that's how it came, and the center tip is sticking out just a little bit, if you push it over to one side, it sinks in entirely, and this is your slingshot mode, it goes completely flat, and sinks in, and now you have like a more flat driver, so that's your two modes basically, Ooh, so push it one way or the oh, other. Instead of twisting, you actually push. Let's take a look at Cyclops C4. This layer, very unique, super round. This reminds me of like... Curveus. Yeah, a little bit, for sure. Um, this is supposed to be the Cyclops Eye, I'm guessing, right? Right there. Man, but the design of this ring though, definitely a more passive design. Moving over to the five disc, seen that a jillion times, guys. And then let's look at Flugel. So Flugel performance driver, um, you know, great for stamina initially. So battle ring mode, I'm guessing is gonna be this. That's definitely battle ring mode. The tip comes out of a sharp tip in the mm -hmm. center. And then if you take your switch and you just slide it over one way, it sinks in. Ooh, nice. So also easy to use. All right guys, let's put together the base, get a really good look at everything. And it'd be nice to actually weigh our Revive Phoenix Hasbro version because technically like maybe it's still heavier, right? Than all the other versions. Yeah, I'm actually excited to uh, use that in the Turbo Stadium. Revive Phoenix being a defense type, but able to kind of like go really quick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'll be really fun for sure. Okay, so I'll put the driver in. It still has that lock, like the white lock on the layer. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, yeah, locks in. Just like Takara told me. So you can definitely knock it off and it'll fly off. So for comparison, let's start with Cyclops. 38. All right. Lightweight. Let's see if this is heavier. That armor. Hasbro Woo! Phoenix P4 hitting, hitting the 40s. So that's nice. Here's another comparison. This is the Bloody Lunior that we uh, unboxed before. 38. So there you go. Revive Phoenix at least is heavier than some of the other um, Hasbro products that we have. So let's switch it up to to Karatomi Phoenix 54. It's like basically like 13, uh, 12 to 13 grams heavier to Karatomi Ooh. wise. Ah, that's gonna be tough to beat. I know this is going to be a very bad battle if we put up these two, but I still want to try it. Yeah, let's do I it. I still want to do it though. Let's do a test spin with our new base. All right, let's go. Slingshot mode with our brand new Phoenix P4. Three, 3, 2, 1. Two, one. Let it... Oh, 
That ring already flew out. Yeah, that armor comes off so fast on like first impact. Was that second track mode? Yeah, it was. Okay. Oh, Cyclops. Pretty sweet though. Like added gimmick. Yeah, with slingshot mode, now every battle is exciting. Yeah. I'm curious, does this work on Takara Tomi's uh, version? The armor? <laughs> you know, you didn't like, try that? Yeah, we should have tried that. We didn't try it. So, okay. we, so we got Takara we're, Tomi. We're Cause this, yeah, Takara Tomi revive Phoenix. Then we're putting the Hasbro armor on. Oh my lord. Does it work? It works. <laughs> so what do you yeah, call that? It works. The, the Hasbro Phoenix? The Ghetto Phoenix. <laughs> the, the Ghetto Phoenix with no upgrades. If they just add a little bit of metal, I guess it will outclass all the other slingshot bays way too much. But what can you do? Still not too bad though. I, I'm glad they kept the design. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's our unboxing of Phoenix P4 and our tag along Cyclops C4. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more unboxings, more battles, more everything. Subscribe, like the video, and as always, geeks out.